Today we are talking about why investors need to make a move on Palantir before June 21st. The Standard and Poor's 500 index, also known as the S&P 500, is poised for a rebalancing on the 21st of June, with Palantir Technologies becoming eligible for the third time. Being included in the Standard and Poor's 500 is one of the most respected milestones for a public company, as it serves as a vital barometer of the overall market. Inclusion in this exclusive club signifies that a company company is among the top performers in its industry, marking a significant achievement and demonstrating substantial growth and stability. Nevertheless, there is no assurance that a company will remain in the index since businesses can experience significant fluctuations in their results, impacting trading activity and valuations. This dynamism is part of the financial market's nature, where fortunes can change swiftly. Fortunately, the Standard and Poor's 500 index undergoes rebalancing once every quarter, with the next adjustment scheduled for the 21st of June. This regular rebalancing ensures that the index accurately reflects the current market landscape and includes only the most relevant and influential companies. Among numerous eligible candidates is the artificial intelligence company Palantir Technologies, ticker symbol PLTR, which recently saw a decline of 1.66%. Let us delve into the factors that make Palantir eligible and evaluate whether acquiring shares before the next rebalancing is prudent. Understanding these factors can provide insight into the company's financial health and growth prospects. Several criteria must be met for a company to be eligible for the Standard and Poor's 500. These include market capitalization, initial public offering timing, trading volume, and other factors. Specifically, a company's market cap must be substantial, indicating it has a significant value and stability in the marketplace. The timing of the initial public offering also plays a role, as companies must have been publicly traded for a certain period to ensure they are established entities. Arguably, the most challenging criterion relates to profitability. To be selected for the index, a company must generate positive earnings for the last four quarters, with the latest quarter being required to show positive net income. Palantir became officially eligible for the Standard and Poor's 500 following its earnings report for quarter three of 2023. Since then, the company has consistently generated positive earnings. As of the 31st of March, Palantir has recorded six consecutive quarters of profitability on a generally accepted accounting principles basis. This consistent profitability is a strong indicator of the company's robust financial health and operational efficiency. Companies such as Super Microcomputer, Uber Technologies, Decker's Outdoor, and Jabil have been added to the index. These additions reflect the dynamic nature of the index, which continuously evolves to include companies that best represent the current market environment. Will Palantir be chosen for the Standard and Poor's 500 on the 21st of June? Perhaps, but it should not be a cause for obsession. While there is no specified reason for Palantir's previous exclusion, one possible explanation could be the prevailing themes driving Palantir's business. The company's focus and market positioning play significant roles in its inclusion prospects. For nearly two decades, Palantir consistently posted substantial operating losses. Although the company demonstrated its capability to sell software to large enterprises, doubts persisted about whether Palantir would achieve sustained profits or continue to invest heavily in growth while burning cash. These historical financial struggles highlight the challenges Palantir faced in its early years. Over the past year or more, applications in generative artificial intelligence have emerged as significant growth catalysts for tech businesses. Palantir has benefited from this demand as evidenced by the company's soaring revenue, operating margins, and free cash flow. The surge in interest and investment in artificial intelligence has provided Palantir with new opportunities for expansion and revenue generation. With a price-to-sales ratio of 20.9, Palantir trades at a premium compared to many of its software as a service peers. This premium valuation should not be dismissed lightly. Unlike many similar companies, Palantir is consistently profitable, providing it with financial flexibility to innovate and differentiate from its peers. This ability to generate profits while investing in future growth is a significant advantage. Although its price-to-sales multiple remains high for a growth stock, it has significantly declined from earlier levels this year. This is especially notable considering Palantir's strong performance in its first quarter earnings report, which highlighted further revenue and profit growth. This decline in the multiple, coupled with strong financial results, indicates a potential buying opportunity for investors. 
In summary, while inclusion in the standard and Porsche 500 is a prestigious milestone, it should not be the sole reason for investing in a stock. Investing in Palantir should be based on a strong belief in artificial intelligence, big data analytics, and the company's potential for high performance. These core areas of focus are crucial for evaluating Palantir's long-term prospects. Currently, Palantir presents an opportunity to buy the dip in its stock. Given the powerful trends driving artificial intelligence, Palantir appears well-positioned for robust, sustained growth. The company's strategic initiatives and market positioning suggest a strong ability to capitalize on emerging opportunities. Consequently, the company's ability to maintain its profit generation over the long term remains high. This sustained profitability, coupled with the growth potential in artificial intelligence, makes Palantir a great investment opportunity. With that being said, I wish you the best of luck and happy investing.